official presentation today. It will come in three parts. We shall see the official signing of his contract. Then he will head out onto the pitch at the Camp Nou to give his uh, first touches of the ball in a, a Barca shirt. And then at around about quarter past seven local time, he will be in the press room to uh, give his first statements since uh, signing for Barca. He'll be accompanied by uh, President Josep Maria Bartomeu and Eric Abidal, the sporting director of uh, Barca. A big day for uh, Braithwaite, a big day for Barca as well. They've uh, moved quickly to make the signing as soon as they were offered permission by La Liga to incorporate a player. It had to be from uh, within Spain or a player out of contract. And uh, they spotted the uh, Leganes player still in his 20s to uh, join and to enter the fray for what is an important part of the season. He will uh, not be eligible to play in the Champions League, but plenty of league fixtures coming up for Barca as they look to challenge for the title, including... Uh, that little game known as El Clasico, which is on the horizon for the Blaugrana. Well, we're having a look at the Barca TV studios uh, at the moment where they're preparing for the signing. We'll shortly head down to the uh, Yorkshire President Sunyol. And Martin Braithwaite will be unveiled. He's already uh, signed his contract uh, in a private ceremony. And now it will be done officially in front of the TV cameras and uh, journalists. There we see Eric Abidal is uh, present. He will be speaking later on as part of uh, Braithwaite's unveiling to the media. And Braithwaite has played a season and a half for Leganes. He now joins Barca for the rest of this campaign and uh, for further years for his contract. Well, there he is, the man of the moment, Martin Braithwaite, accompanied by Barca president, Josep Maria Bartomeu. Braithwaite, a well-traveled Danish international, joined Leganes from Middlesbrough, so that's built in France as well with Toulouse and uh, Bordeaux, as well as his home team in Isberg in Denmark, where he's won the first division title on one occasion. It's by far the biggest move of his uh, career. He will be an illustrious company up top for Barca, joining the likes of Leo Messi, Antoine Griezmann, and the new sensation at Barca, Ansu Fati. That's the signing everybody's been talking about in Spain over the last couple of days. Made official this morning. As the 28-year-old is on board for the latter stages of this league campaign. Remember, Barca still chasing the title. It's a close run thing at the moment between them and Real Madrid. They need some firepower and Braithwaite will bring that. He scores six goals already for Leganes this season. Has featured in all 24 of their games. And he will shortly be heading out onto the pitch where it's a beautiful sunny day in Barcelona. Remember, Rayford was here just uh, under a month ago with Leganes for the Copa del Rey tie, comprehensively won by Barca. <laughs> Rayford all smiles. This a massive signing for him. A player who's uh, scored against Barcelona. Did so last season. It's her uh, first league goal, to be precise, in a 3-1 defeat at the Camp Nou. Got further goals last season against Raya Vallecano, 
Valencia and Sevilla. This year he's been on target against Betis, Levante, Mallorca, Alaves, Espanyol and uh, Valladolid. Most recent goal coming on the 3rd of January. Well, with the handshake, it becomes official. Martin Braithwaite is a new Barca player. As is customary, he will sign the backdrop. Welcoming him to the club. After a brief pause, Martin Braithwaite will be out onto the pitch at the Camp Nou. To show some of his um, ball juggling skills and we'll get our first look at him in that Barca shirt that he has presented by the president. Number 19 for Martin Braithwaite, it was announced uh, this afternoon. Eric Amidal amongst those uh, joining in the photo. He was part of the scouting process to uh, pick up Braithwaite. Also liking what they saw of a player who's uh, part of uh, relegation strugglers so far this season. That no knock on Braithwaite's uh, talent though. He's uh, proven to be a class above for Los Pepineros. Well, after several photos here in the Yorcha President Sunyol office, it will be out onto the pitch. It is an exciting moment. Uh, Martin Braithwaite can barely contain the smile uh, across his face and. Uh, There will be plenty of expectation for Martin Braithwaite. There he sees the Camp Nou once again where he has scored as a Leganes player. He will get the chance to do so for Barca shortly. As uh, the sun sets on the camp, no, it's uh, a new dawn for Martin Braithwaite's career. <laughs> Player accompanied by his family. I made the trip over from the outskirts of Madrid. And this rapid fire signing made by Barca. <laughs> First fixture up for the 28 year old is against Abar at the weekend. Hear the Danes' thoughts on the signing in around about half an hour's time. First of all, he's going to head down onto the pitch. For the first photos of him wearing that number 19 Barca shirt. It's back to uh, the Barca studios as Martin Braithwaite gets uh, changed into his uh, new kit. 
Breakaway to play who started his professional career uh, around about a decade ago. Has always been a, a talented attacker. Made it clear that he wanted to play in Spain even when he was uh, at Middlesbrough. He expressed his desire to uh, try his luck in La Liga. He got that opportunity in 2018-2019 uh, when he signed for Leganes. Featured at the Camp Nou in a 3-1 defeat at the hands of Barca in which he uh, scored a goal. He was also featured for Toulouse, as we said, in France and uh, in his native Denmark, as well as trying his luck in the championship, the uh, English second tier. At Leganes, he's played against uh, some of the best teams in the Liga, has also scored against Barca. His tally in La Liga overall, a total of 10 goals. <laughs> this was Martin Braithwaite's arrival today at uh, El Prat. Barcelona's airport. There's been a uh, whirlwind arrival from the Dane. The move made official today. And after the announcement was made this morning, Martin Braithwaite heading over to Barcelona directly from Madrid. Well, we've just seen him put pen to paper on his contract. Hi, everyone, all the Barca fans around the world. I'm here, I just landed in Barcelona already, going through my, my medical and everything. It'll, it'll be a long day ahead of me, but I just want to say hi. He's also sent out a message to the Barca fans today. It was available on the official Barca Twitter. For the future and all the, the trophies we're going to win and the moments we're going to share together. Um, I can't wait to see all of you. Enjoy. Well, this was his arrival at uh, the Camp Nou today, where he has undergone a medical. Okay. Merely routine, because we have seen Martin Braithwaite in action for Leganes in recent weeks. No injury concerns for him. In theory, he will undertake his first training sessions in uh, the coming days. And will be set to go into the squad for Saturday's game against Daybar. This was uh, footage from this afternoon at the Assistencia Sanitaria facility at the Camp Nou. <laughs> and Breitho will be available for training tomorrow before Kike Setien names the squad that uh, will participate against Abar in La Liga. Well, we're just a few minutes away from uh, Martin Braithwaite heading out onto the pitch.
where he will be in his uh, Barca strip for the first time. Well, there have been plenty of opinions express, expressed on uh, Martin Braithwaite signing. One thing's for sure, he's a player who is uh, capable of playing in La Liga, who has got goals at the top level. And who is uh, keen to do well. He's got uh, a long-term contract with the club. I'm really excited. And, uh, of course, it's a childhood dream coming through. I and think. he said, uh, upon arrival, he's very excited to be here and that everybody dreams of playing for Barca. Titles. Um, it's a club with a lot of pressure. His intentions to win trophies for the I'm club. Here to, to go and try to win everything I'm possible. Here to win as I'm many player, as possible. Also physical in the part Describing of really his play, fast, strong. a strong, and quick player. Attributes, attributes and says one of his best uh, attributes, his intelligence. Intelligency. I'm, I move really intelligent and uh, I study the game. I'm a football student, I call myself, and I always try to improve my football every day and uh, I think the way we play here my my movements will help the team a lot and of course the main thing is I'm a goal scorer so I'm here to score goals this is maybe the best player uh, ever in football so of course this is a big moment for me to be able to play with this guy and to have said that I've played with him so I'm really excited I well, understand I'll be excited to be playing with Leo Messi and more of the top talents in La Liga He's played against them, he'll play alongside them and expect him to slot in well. He's uh, a powerful striker in the Luis Suarez mould, a speedy player as well, one of the quicker uh, forwards in La Liga, sent to offer up plenty of options for Griezmann, Messi, Ansu Fati, all those talents who are set to line up alongside him. Well, we've seen the contract signing shortly. Martin Braithwaite will be out uh, at the Camp Nou where the sun is setting. It's uh, going to be dark and floodlit when uh, he gets out onto the pitch. And we'll have the first photos taken of him in his uh, new kit. Well, plenty of talk uh, about uh, Martin Braithwaite in the press today. There will certainly be plenty of uh, reports on the signing in the Spanish media. He is a highly rated player all around La Liga. And here's a look at his career so far. Esberg from uh, 2009 to 2013. A spell at Toulouse for four years until joining Middlesbrough in 2017 and signed for Bordeaux and Leganes. That spell of Bordeaux, a loan spell from Middlesbrough, came out briefly uh, to uh, Butter before Leganes expressed their interest uh, in uh, signing him. It was in the winter transfer window in the 2018-2019 season. So a season and a half at uh, Los Pepineros Now, an even greater challenge ahead. Contesting the La Liga title in a Barca shirt. Well, we're going to be heading back down to the camp now uh, shortly. And then it will be off to the press room where we'll hear from uh, both Martin Braithwaite and some Barca representatives. It will be Josep Maria Bartomeu and Eric Abidal in the press room. Martin Braithwaite, who is uh, accompanied by his uh, family. 
It will soon have uh, another new addition. His wife heavily pregnant at the moment. Uh, baby expected soon. All change in the Braithwaite household. And a move to Barcelona coming at the start uh, of this new era for the Dane. Well, goals expected of uh, Braithwaite. He has 10 so far in La Liga. Plus a few more in uh, cup competition. And that for a side uh, with limited firepower at uh, Leganes. He formed a great combination with Yusuf Nesri now at uh, Sevilla. He's sure to link up well with the likes of uh, Messi and Griezmann. I'm seeing images uh, from uh, the Barca TV studios. And here is the Camp Nou with an expectant crowd awaiting the emergence uh, from the tunnel of Martin Braithwaite. Plenty of international media have gathered as well. Braithwaite signing, attracting plenty of interest in his uh, native uh, Scandinavia. Braithwaite just getting changed in the home dressing room. He's got experience of the away dressing room, of course, having played here as recently as a month ago with Leganes in the Copa del Rey. You can read all about uh, Martin Braithwaite on the official Barca website. We've also got some videos up on uh, social media, including that message that uh, Braithwaite sent out today as soon as he arrived at the club offices. see uh, a few touches of the ball from uh, Braithwaite, a few photos, and it's back inside to talk to the media who are sure to have plenty of questions. Well, we will just have to wait a little bit no longer for Martin Braithwaite to come out. Still getting changed in those uh, Camp new dressing rooms. Whilst the photographers await for their first snaps of him in the Barca kit. He will not be available to play in the Champions League, but he will feature in La Liga. Barca feeling they needed to make uh, a signing to boost the strike force. Kike Setien will have Braithwaite available to him tomorrow. He's sure to rate the power, presence and speed 
of his new signing. It'll put him through his paces as of the next training session tomorrow. Kiki Setien will be talking to the media at 1 p.m. local time tomorrow in his official pre-match press conference. The press conference for Martin Braithwaite scheduled for quarter past seven. It might be slightly after that, as there was a brief delay in uh, the contract signing getting underway. Martin Braithwaite, the fifth Danish player to uh, pass through the camp now as a, a Barca player. Of course, the most famous of which, the great Michael Laudrup. We'll have another look at the contract signing for Braithwaite. I'd already made it official just uh, minutes before in a, a private signing. This one in front of the expectant media. This uh, presentation coming in three parts. The contract signing. Then the unveiling out uh, on the pitch. Followed by a return inside for a press conference in which uh, questions will be fielded by Giuseppe Maria Bartomeo, Eric Abidal, and of course the new signing, the man of the moment, uh, Martin Braithwaite. Plenty to look forward to for Martin Braithwaite in the coming days. It's all new to him. He will take it in his stride. He will be undaunted. Always a player looking for the next challenge, the next achievement. Martin Breco will be talking in English. Spanish not uh, his thought, eh, but certainly scoring goals and holding up the ball are. Didn't take long to score his first goal for Leganes. Will he be able to get off the mark on his debut for Barca? Martin Braithwaite, as has become customary, signing that backdrop for his uh, presentation. There will be plenty of souvenirs from uh, this momentous event for his career.
And there's a first glimpse of Martin Braithwaite with the new Barca shirt. He will be wearing number 19, most recently occupied by uh, Kevin Prince Boateng. Another player who signed in the winter transfer window for Barca. Barca have made some canny signings at uh, this point of league seasons. Most famous of which, of course, Edgar Davids. Back over a decade ago now. Back down onto the pitch. Martin Braithwaite about to arrive. And a customary ball juggling from uh, Braithwaite. This is our first glimpse of him in a Barca kit. And that's the trick that usually gets them unstuck. Well, as you can see, Braithwaite, a skillful player who has strength and pace in spades. to bring that energy to Barca in the second half of the La Liga season. Slightly unexpected presentation, of course. Barcelona getting special dispensation to sign a striker just outside the winter transfer window. Due to a series of injuries, Usman Dembele and Luis Suarez both out on a long-term basis. Braithwaite, all smiles. This, a massive move for his career. He certainly was not expecting this a month ago. Braithwaite signing through to uh, 2024. He will look to make an immediate impact at the club and will be available for selection. ASAP could well enter the squad for Saturday's game.
from everybody getting involved, the family out on the pitch. Well, this is a uh, real family moment as well. It's uh, an uprooting of uh, the Braithwaite clan to move from the outskirts of Madrid to Barcelona, embarking upon a new adventure. Certainly the route less travelled from Middlesbrough to the outskirts of Madrid to Barcelona. But Braithwaite, an unconventional player. Right, they will now head off for the press conference to give his first words since signing for Barca. We will be opposed with his uh, agent as well. Same agent as uh, Frankie de Jong. Martin Braithwaite's out on the pitch with his wife at the moment. He's going to head down to the press conference room in just a second. Many changes of attire for the Dane. Who is beaming with this latest move in his career. Braithwaite will uh, become acquainted with his teammates shortly enough. Kike Setien has uh, set aside plenty of training sessions for him himself to get accustomed to these Barca players. Only joined uh, around about a month ago, Kike Setien. Has been working on the mechanisms and the various things to improve in the Barca squad. Well, we shall wait uh, a little longer to hear from Martin Braithwaite. It's going to be about uh, 10 minutes before he comes back into sight of the cameras. He will be in the press conference room, accompanied by Jose Maria Bartomeo, and Eric Abidal. The Barca players uh, will be aware of Braithwaite as well. They played against him when he was at uh, Leganes. They're sure to enjoy having uh, a powerful striker up top, able to hold the ball up. 
able to knock it on as well. Several times we've seen uh, Leganes send the ball forward through goalkeeper Piju Cuella. Braithwaite invariably there to meet it, just past the halfway line. Back in the Barca TV studios, they're talking about the signing of uh, Martin Breakway. There's plenty of talk in the Spanish press about his incorporation. It's been a move that uh, everybody has an opinion on. Barca fans happy to have another striker on board. We had seen the size being somewhat uh, lacking in that department with the injuries to Suarez and Dembélé. Around about five minutes to go before we hear the uh, first press conference from Martin Braithwaite, the 28-year-old who was signed for Barca just outside the winter transfer window after a season and a half at uh, Leganes. The fifth Danish player in Barca history. There is the press room at the Camp Nou, where Martin Braithwaite will be speaking in just a few minutes' time. The questions will be fielded to him uh, in English. Well, we see the press room beginning to fill up. Plenty of questions will be asked, I'm sure, of uh, Braithwaite and of Jose Maria Bartomeu and Eric Avidal. A very rapid fire signing made, but uh, they had had their eye on uh, Braithwaite. Some excellent scouting reports on him provided to uh, technical secretary Eric Abidal. Kiki Setien had said at times that uh, Barca were looking at strikers. There had been options uh, available. There have been rumours as well. The likes of Rodrigo were linked with a move to uh, the Camp No. In the end, it's uh, Braithwaite who comes in just after the uh, official permission was given by La Liga to make a signing. Here's another look at uh, Braithwaite coming out onto the pitch at the Camp No. He will get the chance to do so in an official capacity shortly. Ready to go. No nagging injuries for him. Has been an ever-present for Leganes in uh, their La Liga campaign. There we see Martin Braithwaite uh, with some excellent ball juggling skills as well. Sometimes they don't quite come off 
in official presentations. No such problem for Braithwaite. Tremendously skillful player. A tall one at that, 1 uh, meter 77. He's got a great leap on him. Excellent in the air. And offers up a, a different kind of threat for Barcelona. Things are being prepared right now in the press conference room. And Martin Braithwaite is engaging in another change of clothing down in the dressing room. He'll be back out suited and booted for the third and final part of this presentation. Martin Braithwaite accompanied here by his family. The new arrival on the way shortly. Well, now forms part of the Barca family, that uh, squad that has been cut by the departures of uh, several players in the winter transfer window and the injuries suffered by uh, Dembélé and by Luis Suárez. Barca were looking a little short up top. I think Setien said that they would make do with what they had if uh, they couldn't get a signing in. They have managed to pick up a Braithwaite, given permission to do so by La Liga. Well, Braithwaite has uh, a large entourage in tow of, uh, of course, his family, agents uh, and uh, friends who have come over to see what is a massive moment in his career. Well, we're about to head down to the press conference room to hear from the man himself, fresh from putting pen to paper on his contract. Back once again to the Barca TV studios where the guests have been talking about the arrival of Braithwaite. Without the Barca squad 
or 2019-2020 is uh, completed. This highly rated player who's been engaged in a relegation battle for the first few months of the season now faces a very different task. And one of the biggest clubs in the world. A battle for the La Liga title against Real Madrid, which has a, a pivotal game coming up, El Clasico, just around the corner. Martin Braithwaite sent out a message at uh, midday today. He's going to talk to the press in a few minutes' time. I'm really excited to be here at your club. And I can't wait for the future and all the, the trophies we're going to win and the moments we're going to share together. Um, I can't wait to see all of you. Enjoy. Well, the medical was successfully passed by uh, Martin Braithwaite, who has been training as uh, recently as yesterday for Leganes, the consummate professional. It's really just in case uh, anything happened to the move, always uh, in peak physical condition, Braithwaite. Even his coach acknowledged there was a, a risk, maybe he'd get injured yesterday. But uh, anything can happen in training, but uh, Braithwaite wanted to keep in shape, didn't want to miss a, a single session. Wants to be as prepared as possible for this new challenge. Physical, nothing too exerting for Braithwaite, who will get a bigger challenge tomorrow. He'll be out on the pitch with his new Barca teammates. And their final preparations for the game against uh, Eibar at the weekend. Contract signing took place uh, around about an hour ago at the Yorkshire President Sunyol. As Braithwaite put pen to paper on a four and a half year deal. Seven appearances so far this season across uh, several competitions. Featured in the Copa del Rey before Leganes were eliminated by Barca. 24 league games in which he scored six goals. going to hear from Braithwaite and uh, Josep Maria Bartomeu alongside Eric Abidal. They're down in the press room and we'll be cutting over to them shortly to hear first words from Braithwaite in an official capacity. 
in his opening press conference. Martin Braithwaite, highly rated across La Liga. Has it maybe been that is most uh, prolific with uh, six goals this term? He was playing for a side battling against a relegation. A great combination last season, though, with uh, Yusuf and Nesri. He proved himself adept at providing assists. And that might just be the boost that Barca need coming into this vital stage of the season. We are having a uh, brief delay in the appearance of Martin Braithwaite in the press conference room. Has had to get back, changed out of his Barca kit. Back into that uh, rather fetching suit. We will hear the reaction from uh, Kiki Setien to the signing tomorrow when he addresses the press 1 p.m. local time. His uh, his press conference. Kiki <laughs> Setien will be previewing the game against uh, A Bar. Final league game pre Classico for Barcelona. What a big encounter that is going to be. Something of uh, an emergency uh, signing after Usman Dembele was ruled out for six months with an injury. Luis Suarez also a long-term absentee, having undergone surgery. Barca, as soon as they were given permission to make a signing from within Spain or at least a free agent, swooping for Braithwaite, his deal for the rest of the season, plus four more until June 30th, 2024. Buyout clause of 300 million euros. Play with World Cup and La Liga experience. player who has scored against some of the biggest sides in La Liga. Real Madrid, Barca, Ryan Vallecano, Valencia and Sevilla have all fallen victim to Braithwaite strikes. <laughs> Braithwaite who also participated in the World Cup in 2018 in Russia, playing for Denmark. His sides are coming to Ivan Rakitic's Croatia in the last 16, losing out on penalties. Well, looking back at some of the previous Danish players to feature at Barca. Of course, the most famous of them all, Michael Laudrup.
Just five Danish players to ply their trade in the Blaugrana. Of course, Laudrup best known for his passing skill. Well, here is uh, Martin Braithwaite to speak to the media alongside Josep Maria Bartomeu and Eric Abidal. Si us plau, comencem primer les fotografies. Després. Recordem que Braithway lluirà el dorsal 19 com a jugador blaugrana i que ha signat pel que queda de temporada i quatre més fins al 30 de juny del 2024. After the photo call, we're going to hear from the trio at a packed press room. Mantenim. Mantenim un moment igual per les teles, si us plau, que puguin gravar. Hostia. Ja hi ha ma la primo, eh? Sí, ho tenim. Gràcies. Gràcies a tots. Té la paraula el president del Futbol Club Barcelona, Josep Maria. Now we're going to hear from Josep Maria Bartomeu, the Barça president. Bé, bona tarda. Benvinguts en aquesta presentació. Good afternoon and welcome to the presentation. El nostre jugador. For our new player, Martin Braithwaite. Bé, com sabeu, doncs el Martin s'incorpora al club. As you know, Martin has joined the club as uh, an emergency measure until the end of the season and four more campaigns after the injury to Usman Dembélé and Luis Suárez. Thank you for joining us, Martin. And we wish you luck. I hope that you score many goals for the club. Vam analitzar amb l'equip tècnic, amb l'Erica Vidal, al llarg de bastants dies, les possibilitats i les opcions que teníem. I els tècnics, després d'analitzar els jugadors, van decidir que la millor opció posar l'equip davant d'aquesta baixa tan important és el Martin. Martin has experience in the world of football professionals. He's got an experience in professional football. He's played in Lesbjerg, Dinamarca, he's played also in Denmark, he's also played in France. He's also played in the Premier League with Middlesbrough. And with Middlesbrough. As well as playing on international level for Denmark. He's trying to fight the maximum of the two titles and win. So we'll do it with him. El Martin ve a una ciutat nova, Barcelona. Nova ciutat per a ti, Martin, per a tu família. Welcome, Martin. Welcome to your family. Que ajudem-vos en tot el que sé incorporar-te també a tu mujer, a la família i a tus hijos. I que espero que la ciutat, doncs, també vegi la ciutat de la bici com la visquem nosaltres, no? Venim a Barcelona amb una ciutat on et pots adaptar. I que tu estàs feliç en Barcelona amb nosaltres. Dius-ho també que aquest matí hem fet efectiva la clausa al Leganés. We paid the buyout clause to Leganés this morning. Hem fet el que és la normativa actual, és a dir, doncs, fer ús d'aquesta normativa, que quan hi ha una... We did everything according to the applied legislation. Vist el que ha succeït a Leganés, també, evidentment, pensem que aquestes clàusules o normatives s'haurien de modificar. Tampoc és just que ara Leganés no pugui... We don't think it's fair that Leganes aren't able to sign a replacement player of their own. And we hope that will be revised in the future. He signed for four and a half years until 2024 with a 300 million euros buyout clause. 
Això sí, abans de passar la paraula en el Martin i en el... I'm going to let Martin Braithwaite and Erika Vidal speak. Potser ara a l'hora de la premsa hi ha preguntes relacionades amb altres temes. Sabeu que avui parlarem de la incorporació. And we'd like this press conference to focus on Martin signing. Jo em reitero el que vaig dir abans d'ahir en la presentació del Premi Vázquez Montalbán. Dit això, també ho vaig dir l'altre dia i ho torno a repetir. Estem treballant internament i fent anàlisis de tot això. We're working internally on other matters. And we will communicate any developments on that. Martin, te paso la palabra y darte las gracias por todo. Adelante. Hi, everyone. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I think as a as a footballer is is one of the biggest things to to be able to to go to the to the best club in the world. Um, so it's really special for me and my whole family. And this is something I've worked uh, really hard for for a long time. And now I'm finally here, and I can't wait to get started. And and I have uh, a lot of good things in the future for me and my team. I'm really excited. So thank you everyone for being here and uh, I'm ready to get started. Gracias. Thank you, Martin. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to FC Barcelona. We wish you all the best. Com ha apuntat abans el president, el Martin va néixer fa 28 anys a Isbier, que a Dinamarca, ha jugat a Dinamarca, França, Anglaterra i a la Lliga Espanyola amb el Leganés. És internacional amb Dinamarca i, de fet, és el cinquè jugador danès que ha jugat a Barça a Barça. El que farem és veure ara un petit vídeo on podrem veure una pincellada del que pot aportar el Martin Braithwaite. Enjoy the best moments of uh, Martin Braithwaite, who rejoined Barcelona through to the 30th of June 2024. With a 300 million euro buyout clause. Doncs aquest és Martin Braithwaite, el nou jugador del Barça. Començarem ara el tradicional torn de preguntes. Primer per la senyora Iker i que fa una valoració d'aquesta nova incorporació. Gràcies. Bones tardes a tots. Martin Braithwaite, com ja l'heu escoltat, un jugador internacional danès que té molta experiència, un jugador que es seguramente diferente de, de los que tenemos en la línea delantera. Eh, un jugador de carácter que siempre es, es positivo, ganador, eh, un jugador fuerte, que tiene mucha... We are having some technical difficulties and can't hear the words of uh, Eric Abidal. Seguramente mucha fuerza. Uh, the uh, microphone de, will be de fixed equipos, shortly. Equipos grandes. Eh, ya hemos visto que su potencial es, es muy grande. Eh, ha tenido lo, la oportunidad de hablar con, con el entrenador, es el mismo discurso que, que ha tenido. Así que confiamos mucho en su, en su talento, en lo que, que aportó en el Leganés, pero también en, en su selección y también en, en Toulouse. Y aquí seguramente que nos aportará eh, mucho más. Eh, es un jugador que será decisivo para, para nosotros. Es verdad que con esta situación solo podrá jugar la, la liga, pero sabemos que que aquí estamos para, para ganar todos y con la llegada de, de Martín, pues ojalá podemos pues, competir a un nivel más, más alto. Martín, welcome to, to FC Barcelona. Uh, I wish you the, the best for you, for your family, and hope that uh, your future in Barcelona will be very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. Right, 
Recordeu, si us plau, nom i mitjà abans de cada pregunta, una pregunta per torn, indicant a quina de les tres persones de la taula voleu fer la pregunta. Gràcies. Llorenç. Hola, una pregunta pel jugador, Llorenç Terrés de Barça TV. Benvingut a Barcelona. Quines sensacions vas tenir quan vas sentir per primera vegada que el Barça et volia fitxar? És possible o impossible dir-li al Barça que no? Bit of, um, I was surprised at the moment, but at the same time not so surprised because, like I said before, it's been many years I've been seeing this in my head and it's always been my ambition to play on this level. And um, no matter what, I've always been working hard and believing. And I know when you work hard, you believe and you're positive and you pray to God, things will happen. He'll move mountains for you and I'm here right now and I'm, I'm ready. So I, w I, was, I, was, I was happy. I was also surprised at the moment, but it was meant to be, so I'm really happy. Què tal? Ramon Salmorri, en directe de Catalunya Ràdio. La meva pregunta és pel president Bartomeu. I ens ha dit que ha preduït. Per tant, la meva qüestió és si amb el fitxatge d'aquest davanter té la sensació que tanca un dels pitjors mesos del seu mandat. Pel pas del mercat d'hivern, per la crisi entre Erika Vidal i Lionel Messi i la crisi digital. Gràcies. Jo diria que avui el que em fa és obrir un molt il·lusió. Molta il·lusió que vingui un jugador nou. L'equip tècnic ha valorat que era un jugador que ens ajudarà moltíssim a aquest Barça. Seguir la il·lusió que transmet a tots els socis, perquè al final la Lliga està molt oberta i la Lliga amb el Martín, jo crec que aquest talent que el Martín ens porta i la força que ens porta el Martín ens ajudarà a la Lliga. Aquí al fons, president, Marta Ramon, en directe a Islàndia, a RACU. Té la sensació, per tot el que ha passat aquesta setmana, que aquest fitxatge arriba enmig d'una crisi de credibilitat que fa difícil la governabilitat del club? Com afronta aquest tram de temporada? Com afronta aquest tram de temporada? Com afronta aquest tram de temporada? És una pregunta molt semblant a la que m'han fet ara mateix. És com la pregunta que acabo de dir. En aquest moment, quan teníem un jugador lesionat, de llarga durada, quan teníem un jugador lesionat, la veritat és que se'ns posava difícil, perquè ja teníem Luis Suárez, que tenia una lesió llarga, que va passar per la sort després de la Supercopa d'Espanya. El fet que hagi entrat ràpidament l'equip tècnic mirant jugadors en el mercat i per portar-los, no es torno a dir-ho. La veritat és que em fa feliç saber que ve un jugador amb aquesta personalitat i aquest caràcter que crec que ens anirà molt bé per aquest tram de lliga que queda. Ho té a tot. Per tant, la il·lusió gran, feliç pels socis, espero que pugui debutar de seguida i que el veiem pel camp. Al final, dissabte hi ha un partit molt important també de Lliga contra l'Eibar, la setmana que ve tenim Champions. No podem comptar amb ell amb Champions, però en canvi sí que el podem tenir a Lliga i espero que ens aporti molt. Ja l'hem vist jugar, com aquestes darreres setmanes, com és i com és ell, i bé, és l'equip que ha escut. Per tant, Content, feliç, molt semblant a la resposta. Aquí estem experimentant alguns problemes tècnics. Sí, president, Jordi Grau de TV3. Comentava ara les dificultats que ha tingut en els últims dies l'equip. Aquí hem de parlar de Martin Bredwaite, que queda tancada a la plantilla. Vostè parlava ara de les opcions a la Lliga. Volia preguntar-li si creu que realment l'equip, tal com queda tancada a la plantilla, té opcions reals també d'optar a la Champions. A veure, nosaltres sempre treballem perquè optem a guanyar-ho tot i a competir sempre. Jo espero que sigui l'últim fitxatge aquest any, el Martin. No vull més lesionats de llarga durada, perquè és molt trist quan un jugador professional que esté amb la il·lusió de jugar a la temporada té una lesió llarga, com ens ha succeït. Que torno a dir-ho, és l'Usman, però ja tenim també, tenia abans el Luis Suárez. Per tant, actualment tenim l'ambició, tenim la il·lusió que aquesta lliga, evidentment, és una lliga que hem de lluitar-la. La Champions, bueno, veurem, la Champions ja sabeu que és un campionat a vegades que té moltes diferències, o no és com la Lliga, que hi ha una rivalitat, si també són partits eliminatòries i quan arribi el Nàpols i quan s'hem a jugar aquest partit de 8 anys veurem les sensacions que tenim. Jo avui la veritat és que estic amb il·lusió, em fa, torno a dir-ho, m'ha agradat molt que vingui el Martin, porta força, porta ganes, porta ambició i molt de talent. 
Hola, aquí en la otra punta para Erika Vidal, Edupolo Mundo Deportivo. Eric, es tu primera aparición desde tus famosas declaraciones, la respuesta posterior de Leo Messi en, en Instagram. Ayer también Messi, en el Mundo Deportivo, volvió a insistir hoy que se sintió atacado y que no era justo señalar a, al vestuario sin dar nombres. No sé a día de hoy cuál es tu relación con el capitán y con el vestuario después de todo aquello. Si has hablado con ellos, si lo has arreglado o cómo está el, tu relación con ellos. Gracias. Primero, gracias por, por la pregunta. Eh, sí, una cosa que, que sé. Sé que he aprendido muchas cosas ¿no? en, en pocos días y que los temas internos pues, se tienen que arreglar internamente y no por, por los medios. A partir de ahí, pues, el futuro nos dirá. Para el presidente, aquí, Albert Roger del Diario Sport. Después de lo acontecido en los últimos días y lo que ha dicho ahora, ¿descarta que haya algún despido, ya sea dentro de la junta directiva o dentro del club? Ya he dicho antes que... A ver... Eh, abans ho he explicat que el club està fent una anàlisi interna de, de tot el tema de xarxes i que res més que això, si hi ha una notícia, ja us convocarem. Però de moment no hi ha cap notícia. Avui el que hi ha notícia és la presentació del Martin, no? I eh, crec que aquesta il·lusió renovada d'un jugador que arriba a ajudar a un equip, doncs que hem tingut eh, una baixa, bueno, no, 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 dues baixes molt importants a la delantera. Sí, presidente Bartomeu Jordi Martí de, de la cadena SERP. Pero en relación a esta cuestión que usted mismo ha comentado en la presentación en, de las redes sociales, este contrato con i3 Ventures nació en, 2000, en 2017. Simplemente quisiera preguntarle... No pregunto Jordi, pero ya sabes lo que diré. Hablaremos no, otro día. Ya, pero sí me gustaría saber si después de tantos años de actividad, si usted no tuvo conocimiento o noticia de mensajes eh, críticos o difamatorios de cuentas vinculadas a esta empresa contratada por Barcelona. ¿No las tuvo antes este conocimiento ni noticia de estos mensajes críticos vinculados, insisto, a estas cuentas? Jordi, como he dicho antes, eh, em reafirmo las palabras que vais dir abans de ahí a la entrega de premios Basquet Montalbán, es lo que he dicho, y que evidentemente, todo lo que he dicho, un otro cop, estem fent un análisis y cuando haya una noticia, ya ja os diré. De momento, una noticia... Como nos dice alguien que tenemos una noticia, no nos lo diré. ...que nos hace ilusión y el que nos motiva, ¿no? porque al final necesitábamos un refuerzo como el Martin. Yeah, we needed uh, someone to strengthen the squad like Martin and we brought him in. Mi pregunta es para el secretario técnico, para Erika Vidal. Erika, ¿cómo se explica que la plantilla quedara tan debilitada? How do you explain that the side is so weakened in this uh, uh, winter transfer market with uh, Alenia and Todibo uh, departing? At one point you had 15 uh, players on the books. Was there a real uh, risk? Bueno, yo voy a repetir seguramente lo que dijo el I'm going to repeat what uh, the coach, I'm sure, has said. Tomar decisiones. Después yo, yo no creo que el, el número de jugadores I don't think that the number es importante o, o no. Players is uh, the most important thing or not. Se puede hablar una plantilla corta. I think we can uh, have a, pues a small squad. Eh, jugadores lesionados. But you can uh, have uh, players injured as well. Esta situación, pues, es una situación I repeat that this uh, situation no ha vivido mucho. is a situation that hasn't occurred uh, much. And if uh, Dembélé wasn't uh, injured, then uh, uh, we wouldn't have had to make a move. You talked about Alenia. Uh, that was something we couldn't control. He had the option to go out. You, you can't fight against that if the player wants to leave. We always talk with the coach. And uh, the messages are clear, and then uh, we take decisions. I'm convinced that we have a, a team who can compete in the Champions League and in La Liga. We've got players from the youth team coming up who've got a lot of talent, who Kike Setien is including in his squad. And uh, we'll see uh, what the future holds. But I can't talk about the numbers of players because the important thing is the ability of each player. Leo Messi said he doesn't have any problems uh, staying at the club. Is that a relief for you? Or were you already clear about that? I'd love for Leo Messi to continue eternally. But we've got Martin uh, Braithwaite here, our new signing. He's the signing who we've just brought in. He's coming in to join our great squad. And we hope that his participation is uh, great and that we continue to be competitive in the league.
question for, for Martin Braithwaite, Jamie Easton from Bean Sports United States. I read that when you were uh, in the Premier League, uh, you, you were watching some videos from, from Leganes to understand how the, they played, the movements. I believe you don't need to watch videos to know how Barcelona plays. You face them. What do you expect uh, from your games here in Barcelona, the, the position, where to play, the associations with Messi, Griezmann, etc.? I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Barcelona playing the best football in the world. And uh, of course, I've been studying them. And it's about looking at each player, looking at the quality, look at the movements, look how they pass, look how they cross to be in the right areas all the time. And that's what I've done and that's what I'm going to continue to do in uh, like the next couple of days to really study that hard. So when it gets time to the game, I'll be in the right areas at the right moment. Sí, hola, buenas tardes. Eh, Jordi Blanco, ESPN. Eh, mi pregunta era para el presidente. Mi pregunta es para el presidente. ¿Podría sentir eh, que Bright White pudiera abandonar el equipo, el club, a final de temporada? ¿Podría sentir que uh, Martin Bright White pudiera uh, uh, acabar siendo un caso como el de Rimina uh, para hacer hueco uh, al final de la temporada? ¿Podría marcharse? ¿Podría ser un caso como el de Jerry Mina? Of course, he signed uh, for four and a half years with us with a 300 uh, million euro buyout clause. He's signing for, for the team, for the league and uh, for the future. President Marcelo Beckler para Sport Interactive de Brasil. Sabemos que pasa muchas cosas durante toda la temporada. I know there's a lot of things happen throughout the course of the season. Pero Messi, Griezmann, Suarez, Dembélé, Messi, Griezmann, Suarez, Dembélé. Que la delantera del Barça ya está cubierta para la propia temporada. We say that uh, the strike force for Barça is covered for next season. Temporada, que es la que está en fin y como ha dicho. We're focused on this season. Porque tenemos a Luzman Dembélé, que ha tenido una lesión de larga durada. We've got uh, Dembélé out with a long-term injury. Tuvo que estar mala suerte. Que He's had some bad luck. No para ahí. That uh, we hadn't predicted. Es otra cosa. The next season is a different uh, thing. Els seus plans encara no, no els han desvetllat, però sí que evidentment treballen ell i el Ramon Planes. I and uh, Eric Abidal and uh, Ramon are working on uh, what will be the case for next season, but we're focused on this season and the league which starts again on uh, Saturday and the Champions League. Martin will uh, uh, get a good uh, introduction into the team despite joining midway through the season. So he'll uh, work out very well for the team. Although uh, the words from the three protagonists today, including, of course, Martin uh, Braithwaite, who is signed as a new Barca player through to uh, June 30th, 2024.